Hey everyone, welcome back to the fifth part of the sixth part uh, Vocaloid Editor tutorial. Uh, so in this one, I'm going to be talking about the job plugins. So there's quite a few of them, uh, and I'm I know how to do most of them. Some I'm still not sure how to do, or I might not have the right parts. But uh, I'll be going through each one, kind of showing you how to do this. All right, so let's begin by placing down some notes. I'm using Gawkcoin, of course. Alright, let's get rid of the... Uh, get rid of the vibrato, because I don't need it. Alright, and... So, to con to uh, access the job plugins, you want to hit Control and then J. And this will bring you to the job plugin execution. Alright, so the first part thing I want to show you is not this one, not yet, but connect notes. Now, this one's pretty simple. You hit Run, and the notes, uh, all the notes that you have will connect together, so... You don't, you know, yeah. Um, also, excuse the noise outside. My window is open because it's really hot, and my fan is on because it's really hot. All right, so onto the next plugin. Uh, this is the first one here. Adjust gain. So this one, it uh, I'm on dynamics, and what'll happen is when I run this, uh, right now it's at zero, so it'll stay at 64, but let's say I add 12 to it, it's going to take 64 plus 12, and that'll give me my gain. So see here, I went from 64 to 76, uh, 76. so that is the uh, adjust gain, and you can, uh, for individual notes, you can go like this, and then go like that, and then, uh, 8. And then it'll add to this one, so it's it doesn't start back from 64. It uh, adds on to whatever the dynamics are at already. All right, so there's that. Um, here's one thing I want to actually test out. If it's if it's a bit scattered like this, the dynamics, I actually haven't tested this out for myself. And I go Control J, adjust gain, and I go to let's say 12. So it just kind of takes everything up by 12, I guess, keyboards. All right. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Alrighty then. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, for that. So the next job plugin is going to, the one that I know of, um, is an export. So that is, if you run this, nothing happens because I don't have the right parts for it. All right, so let's, let's just go to another job plugin. Uh, so, okay, Expressive Vibrato. So this one is like, this one's a bit of a, like a handful. So this is going to be for all of them. I didn't select a note. Uh, it may take a long time. Uh, no, I won't because I have a good computer. Anyway, so let us, uh, let's just go with this. So the dynamics right now are at 7%. Uh, so the vibrato pitch amount is 25%. Uh, the vibrato brightness amount is going to be 5%. The gender factor is going to be three percent. The vibrato rate, how fast it is, it uh, is it is at twenty-two percent. Um, so you know there's not a percentage sign. Uh, the vibrato length is going to be uh, that where where it starts on the note uh, for each note is going to be at the sixty-six percent margin. So going from to the right to the left. Yep. Okay. So the vibrato phase. Um, I want to know what does that go to. I'm going to go to ten uh, percent. Okay. And the fade in length, so if I'm gonna actually set that to shorter, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep that along. So let's try this. I wanna see how that is. Okay, so you see here, so the vibrato here, um, if I go to uh, pitch bend, so you see the vibrato how it is right now, and then dynamics how it is, and it's also on um, uh, brightness, you can see here. Uh, and uh, not only that, but you can also go to uh, gender factor even. It even uh, affected the gender factor. Uh, but it's pretty low, uh, relatively. So let's listen to this. Alright, so there's that. Uh, let's... Okay, so here's another plugin I want to uh, work with. So. I'm not going in order here, I do apologize for that. Um, it's parameter smooth. So, uh, let's close this for a minute. If I go to pitch bend, 
Uh, you see how it's a little bit, like, um, choppy? The line isn't very smooth. So if you hit Control J and then go to Parameter Smooth, and then you have a selection of which parameter you want to smooth out, and I go to Pitch Bend, and I, I always go to 9, that's just, like, the best for me. So I like that. And if you look now, it's a lot smoother. Like, not, like, completely, you know, but it's it's better. It's it's gonna sound a little bit better too. So when you do that, so and then you can go to dynamics, and if you want to smooth that out as well, you go do the exact same thing. Yep, go to nine. All right, and then you can just do that for any uh, any parameter that you like besides cross synthesis, because for some reason it doesn't allow that. Oh well. Um. Anyway. Let's uh, let's listen to it one more time. All right, let's get rid of all that. Oh, get rid of this right up. Okay. Ah, uh, don't save that. Don't want to do that. <laughs> all right. So the next job plugin I want to talk about is Idle Style. So Idle Style is like it is. It adds a, an upward pitch bend at the end of the note, or how far the, you want the note to be. So, let's go with, um, let's go with 700, and then we're going to go to, um, the, pe the sensitivity, the pitch bend sensitivity, let's bring that, uh, down to 8, like that. So, the dynamics, uh, the dynamics, uh, go down, but if you go to pitch bend, the pitch bend goes up. And again, I'm going to smooth this out because it just, it looks better. Okay? Pitch bend. Surprisingly, the the parameter smoother doesn't do nearly as well on the dynamics. The, uh, the pitch bend I've seen is the best that it works on. So, if I go like this. Uh, 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 hear that? That little uh, At the end of each uh, note. So, that is the idle style. Alright, so, the next parameter I'd like to talk about. Um, not this one, because I don't know how to use that one. Nor this one. Uh, lyric to part name, I don't know that one either. I did parameter smooth. So, part detune. So, uh, part detune. I can't remember which, which one this is, but I'll probably remember after I see it. So, let's go to, um... 20% oh okay so it um brings up the pitch uh, yeah, I guess it just kind of raises the pitch a little bit by whatever percentage there is so 20 yeah alright that's cool so there is a uh, part detuned how to do my changing pitch? Yep. All right. So sine vibrato. This one. Uh, yes, I'm gonna do that. So sine vibrato is the rate. It's like a, a simplified version of the um, the other one that I talked about. Let me uh, expressive vibrato. It's a simpler version of expressive vibrato. I am doing great right now. All right. So let's do that. Yep. So let's bring this to uh, 13, and then let's bring that to 17, and then when I do that, uh, so you can see that almost every note, actually, let's get rid of that, I'm going to select a singular note, okay, so let's go like that, uh, let's go to uh, San Vibrato, 13, 17, 17, and then like that, so I'm going to smooth it out, like before, nope, all right. So now, um, see, I I did the entire note, but uh, there's another way you can do that uh, without using the entire note, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right. So there's that. So if you don't want to use the entire note, what you can do is go like this, drag out the note, and then drag it as long as you want where you want it to start, and then you you have the note selected, and then you just do the exact same thing. Sign vibrato. 
13, 7, 15, 17. Alright? So now it starts here instead of all the way at the beginning. So and then you smooth everything out, but you have to keep the note selected to do the smoothing. And then. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Alright. And then you erase the note. And then. So and so it uh, starts a bit later instead. So that's helpful. And I, I prefer using the uh, the sine vibrato instead of just the regular uh, pitch bend. I just I don't or I just I like it better. So let's listen. So yeah, there's that. All right, get rid of that. So the next. Uh, plugin I'd like to talk about is staccato. So staccato, it's the opposite of connecting the notes. It makes everything really short. So let's go like this and make a bunch of notes like that. And then like that. And like, I don't know, like that. And then I'm going to normalize all of these. Yep. But instead, I'm going to then go to job plugin and then staccato. And when I run this, everything just becomes a lot shorter. And then Go like that. <laughs> uh, and then what you can do actually after that then is then you can connect all the notes like that. And then they return to normal. Yep, so there's that plugin. Alright, that that didn't do much. Alright, so the next one. Okay, so time randomizing. So, uh, it's like you don't really know it's it's a randomization of when the note's gonna change so how how likely that is uh, depends on these so I'm gonna go into large and then you see how it now changed yep so now it's it's different so that yeah all right uh, I'm gonna normalize <laughs> notes again Alright, here we go. Okay, so the next job plugin, and I believe it is the second to last one. Alright, so V3 uh, kettle pitch, so makes the pitch bend effect. So, okay, now I'm gonna have to explain this. So, it kind of, there's a mode that you can use called pitch snap, and it makes an kind of auto tune effect. So this is kind of the same way, because usually when uh, notes change, it's pretty smooth. But you see here with the pitch bend, it's very like like rugged and just sudden. So let's listen to this. <laughs> you can t tell it's a bit weird. Uh, let's bring this note all the way down. Let's go down an octave and then run this. <laughs> I want to <laughs> do this. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, alrighty then, so there's that, I'm not going to do that, that's just, yeah. Alright, so the last job plugin that we're going to learn is the vibrato type, and that is, that's actually really simple, it's just if you want to, uh, let's say you have a note selected here, and then you go, sign vibrato, uh, not sign vibrato, job plugin, ugh. And then vibrato type, you can just you can select what kind of vibrato this has from here. So let's say you want to do fast type, like that. When you click it, let's elongate this note. So now when you go into there, you see you can double click on it if you just want to do it normally, and then you'll see it's selected on fast type three. I usually like the type three. Once, if I ever do use the normal pitch bending uh, vibrato, so there's that. Um, it didn't affect the other notes, did it? Actually, I guess it affected all the notes. Okay, whatever. So there we go. There's all of that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. So the next uh, video I do, I don't think it's gonna be. I don't know. There's there's not much else to talk about. 
so I guess I'll just, it might be just a video talking about some miscellaneous, I don't know, features that, you know, that can help a little bit. Alright, let me uh, know what you guys thought in the comments. I think this is the first time I've ever said that, and leave a like, and subscribe. First time I've ever said that. That's interesting. Alright, see you guys.